Hot news update Coronavirus April 7, 2020. Note, this is a collaborative video made between Travel for All Campus and Knowledge of Coronavirus channel. Please respectfully welcome everyone. The following is the remarkable news most on April 7 as follows. One tracking COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Since January, novel coronavirus has spread to nearly every state and territory of U.S. The total number of infected people in the U.S. has been 368,533 number of deaths, 11,008. New York has become the epicenter of U.S. outbreak, with 131,830 confirmed cases and 4,758 deaths so far. When adjusted for population, that translates to roughly 678 known cases and 24 deaths for every 100,000 residents. Last updated at April 7, 2020 at 10 o'clock a.m. ET. Source, Johns Hopkins University Center for Systems Science and Engineering. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was brought into intensive care ICU when his health condition worsened. Mr. Johnson, 55 years old and diagnosed positive 10 days ago, is still awake and does not require mechanical ventilation, AP, quoted the Prime Minister's office on April 6. On the afternoon of April 6, the Prime Minister's health deteriorated and on the advice of his medical team, the Prime Minister was taken to the intensive care unit, ICU, at the hospital. No more details have been revealed about Mr. Johnson's situation. The British government on April 6 said 51,608 people were positive for COVID-19 in the UK and 5,373 died. The cabinet is not in the position of Deputy Prime Minister, but Secretary of State Dominic Robb has been appointed to take over the task if Prime Minister Johnson is unable to run the country. 3. Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Sin Loon decided to close schools from April 8, most workplaces from April 7, except for essential services such as food, hospital, transportation, in one month. Singapore confirmed more than 1,100 people infected, of which 5 died and more than 280 have recovered. Experts say the country of 5.7 million people is experiencing the second COVID-19 outbreak. The first wave began when travelers from China spread the virus to Singaporeans. Singapore then implemented a number of travel restrictions to prevent the epidemic. The second outbreak involved Singaporeans returning from the United States and the United Kingdom where new infections are rising rapidly every day. Officials in Singapore are concerned that the next outbreak will include domestic cases and cases of traceability. According to Bloomberg, the Singapore government recently announced an additional economic stimulus package of 3.55 billion USD to support people during the implementation of tough measures to deal with COVID-19. So far, Singapore has launched three relief packages totaling 41.7 billion USD, equivalent to 12% of GDP. Our goal is to keep jobs and protect people's lives during this temporary period, Deputy Prime Minister Haines Wikit said. 4. More than 50 COVID-19 patients in Korea were positive for the virus after recovering, according to South Korean health officials. The Korea Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, KCDC, said 51 patients in nearby Daegu City and North Gyeongsang Province, considered to be the center of the COVID-19 epidemic in the country, tested positive. Returned to COVID-19 after they left the quarantine facility. Some experts fear that COVID-19 exists underground in some cells and then attacks the respiratory organs when they become active again. The South Korean authorities on April 7 morning announced an additional 47 cases of COVID-19 infections, bringing the total number of people infected in the country to 10,331. This is the second day in a row South Korea recorded a new number of 24-hour new infections below the level of 55. 
the number of cough infections continues to increase while hospital beds and medical supplies are exhausted, leaving Tokyo hospitals in crisis. The Tokyo government said as of April 5, the Japanese capital had reported 951 COVID-19 patients hospitalized while there were only 1,000 beds. Japan has not reported as many cases as many other countries, but experts say this is the result of a limited testing policy. Aiju General Hospital, a pink 10-story building in the middle of Tokyo, Japan, reported 140 cases of cough infection in the past two weeks, including at least 44 doctors, nurses and health workers. Last week, the hospital was forced to announce its closure. 6. Health workers in the UK are infected with COVID-19 because of using expired protective gear. The country's health system is overloaded while the number of infections and deaths continues to increase. Health workers are forced to face an unprecedented crisis. Dr. Roberts began the story of how the hospital broke before the pandemic. Here, all medical activities are postponed to focus treatment for patients infected with coronavirus. Dr. Roberts is currently treating three colleagues in the same department. They are all infected with coronavirus after working with overdue protective equipment. Medical machinery and equipment, which should only work for two, three hours, are operating at maximum capacity and become malfunctioning. Hospitals across the country are overloaded because the number of patient beds and patients is doubling. 7. The number of COVID infections 19 increases rapidly as a flood of violent flood. Currently there are more than 1.2 million patients worldwide, from Nepal to Nicaragua. And by April 5, 17 of the 193 member states of the United Nations had not reported cases positive for the virus, according to statistics from Johns Hopkins University. 17 countries in COVID-19 have not yet appeared. Comoros, Kiribati, Lusitia, Marshall Island, Micronesia, Nauru, North Korea, Palau, Samoa, Sao Tome and Principe, Solomon Isla 8. The number of signatures calling for the WHO Director General to resign has increased steadily. The petition was created on change org and is translated into several languages, including French, Spanish, German and Arabic. The application confirms the treatment of UN and WHO health officials for the outbreak of COVID-19 as unacceptable. In addition, the applicant said that Hedra was not suitable for the position of head of WHO and should give up his position immediately. The main point of the application is that Mr. Tedros's failure to publish the COVID-19 epidemic in China was a global emergency medical condition in late January. According to this petition, instead of independently investigating and verifying the number of deaths and infections in Chinese provinces, Tedros simply believes in the information of the Chinese government. 9. With positive initial test results, more than 30 countries have ordered Japanese anti-influenza medicine to treat patients with coronavirus infection. According to the Asian Nikkei Review, the Japanese government has announced its willingness to provide coronavirus-free medicines to countries. The drug Favipiravir, registered commercially as a vitamin, is an antivirus drug developed by Toyama Chemical, a subsidiary of Fujifilm Holdings. This drug has shown positive results against COVID-19 in clinical trials in China. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga told a news conference that as many as 30 countries have ordered a vitamin medicine through diplomatic channels. We are arranging to provide this drug for free, Chief of Staff Suga said. This will also help expand clinical research with this drug. 10. Detecting 19 COVID spread in cat population in Wuhan. Specifically, the researchers collected serum samples from wild cats and domestic cats in Wuhan for testing and concluded that the collected data showed that sars cov 2 was contagious. Spread in Wuhan cat population during outbreak of COVID-19. The sars cov 2 virus, which causes COVID-19, is thought to be capable of invading humans and other mammals, including monkeys, weasels and cats. Several domestic dogs in Hong Kong, China, domestic cats in Belgium and tigers kept in New York Zoo's USA have also been found positive for sars cov 2 Our newsletter is now over. Thank you for always watching and supporting our videos.
knowledge of coronavirus, channel and travel for all, and respectfully, and see you in the next video.